Hello, everybody. I'm Jackie Ottman, and welcome to Waste Less, Live Better, helping New Yorkers achieve zero waste. Anybody familiar with the term zero waste? That's the name of our new solid waste plan in New York City. So hopefully by the end of the presentation tonight, you're going to know what zero waste is, why we need a zero waste plan here in New York City, and how we're going about achieving zero waste. Okay, average New Yorker throws away nearly 15 pounds of waste a week at home and another nine pounds at work. So the mayor says, okay, let's do something about it. And last April on Earth Day, de Blasio introduced our first zero waste plan. The goal is to divert 90% of trash from landfills by 2030. Los Angeles, San Francisco, Austin, Minneapolis, Seattle got there ahead of us. We're not the first city in America with a zero waste plan, but we are the largest. That plan has eight different initiatives. Expand New York City's organic program to serve all New Yorkers by 2018. So that's either in your home or walkable. Adopt single stream recycling by 2020. So single stream means we no longer select, separate the greens and the blues. It all gets mixed together and then separated at these plants. A third one is to reduce the use of plastic bags and other non-compostable waste. And then we, we got this one, expand recycling to the New York City Housing Authority and make all schools zero waste schools. So the first 100 schools were announced this year. Expand opportunities to reduce and recycle textiles and electronics. And then the next one is developing an equitable blueprint for save as you throw. And reduce commercial waste disposal by 90% by 2050. What's not in the zero waste plan is money for education. How do you change consumption culture how do you educate people about the right way to recycle and what are those numbers on the bottom of a plastic bottle mean? Because we have to change, debunk the myths and the misconceptions. If people think that garbage goes away to a dump where it will eventually biodegrade into soil, as long as they believe that, they will have no incentive to recycle, to compost, not to buy things like bottled water, because most people do not realize the implications of waste and of their consumption. 42% of all greenhouse gas emissions is associated with the consumption and manufacture of goods and foods. So every time we're buying something, throwing away something, that creates greenhouse gases. Manufacturing creates greenhouse gases. So 42% of all climate change results from consumption. 